Uh, when are you getting changed? We're going to be late for the movie. What do you mean? She looks gorgeous. He's joking, Mum. No, my wife always looks beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My humour's a little lost at sea. Maybe we shouldn't go out. No, no, I want you to. Appreciate each other while you can. Well, we can go see a movie another time. Those of us still blessed with lives have to get on with them, and I need to get used to being alone. Well, you're not totally alone. Michael and Billy are still here. As is their favourite babysitter. Now, go on, go, before I change my mind. And you miss the movie. All right, well, anything you need, just call, right? I won't be calling, and you won't be leaving your phone on in the cinema. Dreadful behaviour. Where's Leanne? Coral. Is everything OK? The lawyer just called. Dad's autopsy results are being couriered here. Well, I'm his wife. Well, I was. Of course they're coming to me. We'll open them together then. See what they say. Well, they won't say that Mum's responsible. We'll see. Yeah, we will. Cancel the movie. We're not going anywhere. Okay, get, give it here, Leah. You know, I need to really wrestle with these uh, proof packages. Thank you for this. Well, we needed to be here. Does it say what or who pushed my father off the ship? Just stop. She didn't kill Howard. They can't know that, can they? She loved him. You know that. Mum. I think I need to sit down. Well, the um, most probable cause of death was a ruptured aneurysm. See, no indication of suicidal foul play. How did he end up in the water? Well, they can't know exactly. I mean, with no blood to the heart, he would have just fell against the railings and toppled over. Oh, I'm really sorry. Sorry, too, for blaming you, Leanne. I blame me. I hate me. I left him alone. Mum, this isn't your fault. Howard's aneurysm was a ticking time bomb. It could have happened at any time. But it happened after we fought. We fought and I left him alone. Alone. Angry. Angry at me. I will never, ever forgive myself. I'm sorry. You're entitled to my father's money. I was so angry and hurt and lost. Dad was gone and I needed someone to blame. Now what I need is for you to forgive me. I forgive you, Coral. But how can you possibly forgive me? I, I couldn't possibly accept this. You're his wife. What's Dad's is yours. How can I take what's Howard's when he died so angry and hurt and disappointed with me to be wrong, unforgivable? He loved you. But he deserved you, Coral. His feisty, protective, forever loyal daughter. Not me. His monster of a widow. Don't talk like that. No. I betrayed Howard in life. I will not betray him again in death. And they've done a wonderful job, apparently. So natural. You, you saw the body? Uh, no, I, I went with Coral. She said he looked so serene, unlike the day he died. Oh, I couldn't bring myself to actually look. I might have gone with you, Mum. What? <laughs> to witness my disgrace? To, to help and support you. I don't deserve you, daughter of mine. I don't deserve anything, except maybe some personal effects. From the body? Oh, don't be ghoulish. From the honeymoon suite. The police confiscated everything while the investigation was going on. And when's the funeral? You won't be going alone? No, I won't be going at all. What do you mean? They can't shut you out. I can't go to America and wonder what people really think of me. You have to go. You have to say your goodbyes properly. Well, I can say my goodbyes here. What about for the family? They want to hear your stories about Howard. The last moments. The fight. <laughs> Why on earth would they want me there? You can't still blame yourself. Please respect my decision. I will not be attending Howard's funeral. Calling with drug dealers. Happy times. Hmm. What's this? 
Hmm? I've no idea. It's writing. Oh, my glasses. My beautiful Leanne. It's a letter to you. What else does it say? What a silly old fool I've been. That's Howard, not me. Got it. I should have ignored Robert trying to sweep you off your feet. But I was jealous. And I should have ignored Angie laughing at all my jokes. Bold fool that I am, I was flattered by her bouncy charms. You couldn't miss her bouncy charms. I never want to hurt you. Let's stop this crazy bickering and get on with enjoying the rest of our honeymoon. I love you with all my heart. And tomorrow, I'm going to... So he wasn't mad at me. Doesn't sound like it. How it still loved me. You bet. Oh, oh Michael. <laughs> I gave away the beach house.